This is Twit. Ron, you've spent some time with the Nexus 6, and you recently put up your review. You have it with you. Uh, what are your thoughts? What do you think? Um, it's really, really, really big. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so there's so if you're going to carry a large a device this large, like a, a six inch device, um, there are some benefits to it. Like it's there are some benefits that are at least supposed to be in the form factor when it's this big. So you're supposed to get a really, really, really big battery. And this does not have a big battery. This is it's 32. What is it? It's 3,220 milliamp hours. And, you know, like Huawei makes six inch phones with 4,000 milliamp hour batteries. And it's like, I, I don't really have a problem with this size. It's on the large end. But if I'm going to carry something this large, I want it to have the benefits of a large device. And this does not. It's just kind of a, I mean, you get a bigger screen, sure, but I would feel much, much better if they had just, you know, packed the giant battery that you normally get in something this size. Right. Yeah, you get that large battery, then you get the quad HD screen, and then suddenly that large battery becomes normal battery. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, there bummer. is there are one or two things in here that are really neat. You know, it has the, the always-on voice chip, which uh, from today forward is officially a deal-breaker in new devices, you have to have an always-on voice chip for me to care about your phone. Just it's that good. Period. Yeah, it, it is so awesome to just kind of say, okay, Google, and have the phone light up. And, <laughs> and yeah, it's that good. Um, Case in point. Yeah, just kind of, you don't have to touch it. You don't have to do anything. You just say, okay, Google, it lights up. You can ask it a question, and you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, positive yours is not the only phone that's going off right now. I love doing it. I love doing it to the listeners now. That's my new favorite thing. When you see people complaining about us saying, okay, Google, and then <laughs> triggering their phones. <laughs> well, you do You do have to train it. You have to say, okay, Google, three times. And <laughs> it, <laughs> every, time and, I, every time I hear the beep, it's funnier. Uh, <laughs> so so a, a year from... No, stop. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so... What's going to be so awesome is like a year from now when everything has this, I'm just going to train everything and I'm yeah. going to say the word and like 700 devices will light up and, and you <laughs> know, be a symphony. Them. So we it's, need, I we, mean, it's we, been on the Moto X, yeah. but um, with Lollipop, they cut out the middleman. So before like a Motorola app would turn on and, and capture your voice command and then pass it over to the Google search app. But now, you know, it's the Google app that listens all the time. So it's a lot faster. It works better. And it's built into Lollipop now, so any OEM who wants to use this can use it. And I've done more voice commands in the last week than I probably have in the last, like, six months. Wow. Just because it's really awesome. And it works in a screen-off state, right? Yeah, totally off, just awesome. works all the time. Love it.